Now, if you come to the principles and you try to say, okay, Islam and democracy, you will find that uh, 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 in the book, uh, Islam, the West and the Challenges of Modernity, I was trying to say, okay, let us go beyond the very simplistic and superficial discussions uh, on terms and terminology that are clashing, democracy is not us, and Shura is us, and, and, and say, okay, let us come to the principles. And this is a starting point of a liberating process, liberating us, uh, ourselves from, you know, imposed terminology to say, we don't have a problem with the, 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 the word and we have uh, a, a say in Arabic, al-ibratu bil musammayat la bil asma, meaning the, 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 the discussion is about the substance of the word and not the word themselves. It's about what the, the meaning of the word and not the words themselves. So we come to the principle and we find in the Islamic tradition from the very beginning that we have six principles that are very critical. And these six principles are fundamental principles in anything which has to do with uh, our way of dealing with governance. The first is the state, the rule of law. Uh, by the way, the first Islamic science in the, Islam in the Islamic civilization is really about the legal field. We don't have theology first. We had legal field. Fiqh was first, law and jurisprudence. So it's rule of law, first principle. That the Muslims, it's very important, they are all based on when we have interpersonal relationship, it's based on contracts. It's based on something which is, and the starting point of the Medina was on an agreement. That you and us, we have an agreement. And this is, the agreement is setting rules in our interpersonal relationship, which is the starting point of everything in Islam. Saying by this, المسلمون عند شروطهم is, is a saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him, saying the Muslim should respect the agreement. Now you live in this country. You live in Malaysia, and it means that by the very fact that you are a Muslim, you abide by the law of the country because you have a tacit agreement with this society that we agree and you accept the laws. Meaning that you accept the framework. It doesn't mean that you accept all the laws when they are unjust. It means that as a citizen, you should struggle from within the system if you think that there is one law which is not a just law which is something that I was reminded of when I was in South Africa, and someone uh, heard me saying this, say, that's fine, but in this country, when you are a black and when you are a white, the legislative framework is telling us that the white has more rights than the black, and this is unfair. So he's right. In Islam, you abide by the framework, but from within the framework, you should struggle for more justice. And you know how many laws that you have in Malaysia that should be reform. I'm talking about you. So, you know, it's not... <laughs> it seems that I am with the opposition. Anyway, that's good. <laughs> and by the way, I'm not with the imposition, uh, opposition. No, no, not, not on political term. In philosophical term, anyone who is coming to visit you who is telling you something which is very true. Your model is not perfect. And your laws are not perfect. That in the name of justice, in the name of your conscience, as a Muslim, as a Buddhist, as whatever you are, a Christian, a whatever, in the name of your citizenship, you have the duty to stand up for what is right. It's not against the government. It's the, for the dignity of the country. This is something which is completely different. It's, it's a position of principle. Don't put me in the political landscape in your country. I, I don't care. I would be a counter power for anyone. Even if you one day are in, in, in power, if you are accepting injustices in this country, you will have my voice against you. This is the only way. Because this is the way we, this is the way we are principled human being. So this is the way I understand rule of law. And rule of law means we start as we can and it has to be improved. And this is why we have law and jurisprudence. We have to improve. The second principle when it comes to the rule of law after this is equal citizenship. And equal citizenship, I mean it. It's something which is important in our democratic systems and in, as a principle that every single citizen, what, and, and you have to deal with it. You are dealing with a society where I know that you don't like the term of pluralism. 
But I'm sorry, in normative terms, you, have, you are a pluralistic society. A pluralistic society means that you are citizens with different cultural and religious background. That's it. So it's a normative term. It doesn't mean that we are saying that Muslims are less than Christians and Christians more uh, or Buddhists less. That's not the point. In political term, this is a society based on diversity, culturally, religiously, and it has many backgrounds and many origins, and we acknowledge the fact that every single citizen, whatever her or his origin and religion, should be treated equally by law. And this is, and this is, no, you are not going to clap every time it's going to turn into a, 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 a political meeting. Just if you are, I'm always saying this, if you are happy with what you, 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 you hear, just think about it. That's, that's enough. So the point is that uh, uh, if, you, you, if you are dealing with uh, uh, minorities, and, and once again, I keep on repeating this to Muslims, even the Prophet, peace be upon him, when he arrived in Medina and said the first, what we call the first government and the first uh, 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 society with Muslims being involved, he said to the Jews, Antum min ummatina, you are part of my community. And it's a very strong word in Islam. El ummah is not only the spiritual ummah, it's also the the uh, uh, organized and structured community at the local level. You are part of us. You are part of our society. And he added to this, Lakum malana wa alaykum ma'alayna. You have the same rights and the same duties as us. It's not for us to come centuries later and say, no, it might be that we have more rights than you because we are better. Because we are the best community in the world. First, if you are the best community in the world, we want to see this in the ground. You have to show it with, through your behavior. It's not by discriminating others that you are going to be the best. It's to give them the equal right. No, 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 no. I know sometimes emotions are, are stronger. But it's a rational discussion, okay? No, but you can stay here. 